Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm Lena. This is Lena's Bookshelf, and this is Thrill Till Halloween. I will be vlogging all weekend, even though you can probably hear it in my voice. I am very sick, so I actually have pneumonia. Yay. I have been in bed all week, and I think I'm on the mend now. This is the first day that I've actually felt like getting out of bed, putting on real clothes, and <laughs> I have a friend with me this weekend. I have a friend's dog that's staying with me this weekend. Maya, up. This is Maya. Maya's hanging out with me this weekend while her parents are gone. So, okay, down. So, uh, she is a lot of fun. She has a lot of energy. She likes to play. So we've played a lot of catch and fetch and stuff like that. So I wanted to just give a little intro to this weekend. Um, I'm not sure how much is going to actually be happening in this vlog. It might just be a lot of me reading and talking about what I'm reading. I had so many fun plans for this weekend, so many fun things I was going to do, but obviously none of that is happening. I have barely left my house all week except to go to the doctor, basically. But my dad is about to bring over a puzzle and some Starbucks for me, so that should be helpful. Even though I don't have much of an appetite, nothing really tastes normal to me right now um, because of all my congestion. But anyways, enough about my sickness. Maya, go on, go on. <laughs> So let's talk about the books I'm going to read this weekend. So the first book that I'm reading is The Buddy Read for Thrill Till Halloween, and that's The Last Housewife by Ashley Winstead. I've already started it this morning. I'm about 50 pages in, and I wasn't really sure what this was going into it, and I kind of decided not to, but um, it seems to have some cool, like, maybe podcast elements to it. So this is about a girl, Shay, who had two friends in college, and they both have ha mysteriously died. The one died years ago and then her other friend recently died and they both died under strange circumstances. So she takes it upon herself to go back to a life that she left and try and figure out what happened to her friends. And I've heard that this has some cult vibes. Um, I've heard really good things about this book, but I have kind of tried to stay away from like reviews and synopses and stuff because I wanted to go into this uh, not knowing a whole lot, which is usually the way I end up enjoying thrillers. And then also this weekend, I plan on reading Comfort Me with Apples by Catherine Valenti. And it's pretty short. It's a novella. Um, I also have the audio of this. And I also I have the audio of The Last Housewife too. So I have audio versions of both of these. And so this should be really nice and quick. Um, again, don't know a whole lot about this. Um, I think I've been getting confused with some other novellas. So anyways, we're just gonna read it and we're just gonna see. And then the last thing I'm going to read is The House Next Door by Darcy Coates. I've had this on my shelf for a while. I got it at an indie bookstore when I was on a work trip and I've heard good things about Dar Darcy Coates. Um, I've heard that Darcy Coates is like cozy horror. Could be a hit, could be a miss, um, but it's got a little bit of, um, I think I got it really cheap because it has some some water damage there. So those are the three books that I plan on reading for this readathon. Um, tonight we have our movie watch, uh, where we all start the movie at the same time and discuss it on Discord. We're watching one VR. Maya. Tomorrow night we have our live show, um, where my co-hosts and I, Jacqueline and Liv, are going to try to escape from a virtual escape room, which uh, should be interesting. I love escape rooms, um, but I don't know that I'm particularly good at them, but I do enjoy them, so we'll see. I've been practicing. I've been doing like little escape room games to try and practice because I'm an overachiever. So that is what we have going on this weekend. It's gonna be a lot of me reading and doing puzzles and playing with Maya. So yeah, this vlog might end up just being a flop, but we're gonna, we're gonna go with it because you know what, sometimes life throws things at you and you just gotta roll with it. So, all right, let me go play with this dog and get some of her energy out.
This is a good day, yes, I need To start the rebuilding of life The roads that lay open are many When the old one's gone under the knife And I can feel the sun on my skin Happy Saturday. Maya and I are just sitting here <laughs> drinking some coffee, even though I can't really taste a whole lot because <laughs> of everything that's like in my sinuses and in my chest and everything. But um, I just wanted to update you because I am on page 200 of The Last Housewife and it's getting pretty intense. It really reminds me of the I think it's like the third season of Riverdale like the cultish stuff um it's very similar to that so if you haven't seen Riverdale and you like like cult aspects there is some of that in one of the seasons of Riverdale I really like that show um I feel like it's kind of an underrated show um the the newest season wasn't very good though but like the first three or four seasons were I would say the first three seasons were probably the best but um, so we just got to the intense cult part and I'm kind of not really sure how the girl's going to get out of it now because she's basically like put herself back in this cult to try and figure out what happened to her friend. And it's very misogynistic. It's very like the men are in charge. The women submit to the men. The women have to look feminine. The women have all these rules, but the men don't really have any rules, um, which is I guess pretty typical. But I'm hoping to finish it today and then read Comfort Me With Apples today as well. And then I will be on track. Um, and then tomorrow all I'll have to read is The House Next Door. Um, last night was the movie night. I think I caught a little clip there of us watching it. Um, I think I liked the movie a little bit better than some of the other people did. But um, people seemed to like the ending. It had like a little bit of an ambiguous ending. But it wasn't an ambiguous ending where it just stopped. Like it was one of those endings where it could go one of two different directions. The cool things about these movie nights is that even if the movie is awful, it's still fun just like roasting it in the chat. So today is going to be more of the same. Being sick, <laughs> doing my puzzle, reading my books. Today and not tomorrow. some light housework and washed my makeup brushes you saw that um took a shower and or took a bath first then a shower blow dried my hair and I am exhausted just from doing that it's amazing how little energy I have and it's amazing how quickly I get out of breath <laughs> doing anything pneumonia is no joke no joke at all um, so I am, let's see, where am I? I think I'm on page 288 now, so I don't have a whole lot left. So I am going to make some food and try and knock out the rest of this book. Um, it's about two o'clock, so I should probably make myself eat something. I am starting to get a little bit confused. Um, the writing style is very, like, collegiate. Um, and I feel like it's trying to be very, like overtly academic um, and I'm having a hard time keeping up 
but um, having the audio and being able to read it is, I think, helping. I wish that the audio, like the transcript in the audio was done more like like A Good Girl's Guide to Murder, where it sounded like you were listening to a podcast episode. I don't know, that's neither here nor there. I just wish that that element was, was used a little bit more in the audiobook. Hello. So, Maya has eaten dinner and been outside, and I'm going to at some point think about eating dinner before the live show, but I wanted to update you because I have finished The Last Housewife. So, I'm thinking that I'm going to give it four stars. I really liked the ending. Um, it was a little bit like stream of consciousness type of... I, I felt like it was a little bit too pretentious <laughs> for its own good at times. Um, but I liked the cult aspect. I liked the podcast element, even though I wish that it had been, um, you know, more developed in the audio version. I felt like the ending wasn't like completely tied up in a pretty little bow, which I don't like when books end like that. And the way this book was going, I didn't think it was going to end like that anyways. Um, so I was kind of expecting that. Um, I feel like this, I, I see the hype for this book, but I also see why people didn't like it. Um, it definitely is very stylized. Um, it definitely is very like collegiate um, in prose and in metaphors. It's very metaphorical. So, um, so yeah, so people who don't like overly descriptive writing styles probably aren't going to vibe well with this, but, um, I enjoyed it. And there comes the squeaker. Thanks, Maya. So now into the live show, I'm going to read Comfort Me With, Ap Comfort Me With Apples. <laughs> My, give me that for a minute. <laughs> I'm going to read Comfort Me with Apples. Um, and it's pretty short, so I should be able to get this whole thing read before the start of the live show tonight. Today and not tomorrow, there's no time to borrow. Today, well, something's got to give today. Good morning. Happy Sunday. Happy day three of Thrill Till Halloween. I'm tired. <laughs> so last night was the live show where Olivia and Jacqueline and I did a virtual escape room. And the audience, luckily the audience was helpful because we picked the hardest one. And we did not make it out in the time that was allotted. But luckily, after the time ran out, it let us continue. So we did actually get out. It only took us about 20 extra minutes, but it was so much fun. It was fun chatting with everybody in the comments and getting their input and seeing who's like really competitive and stuff. So yeah, that was fun. Um, I did not sleep well again last night. This sickness is kicking my butt. But I did finish Comfort Me With Apples last night. What, what the heck? <laughs> I don't even know what this is. I have no idea what I read. This is listed as horror. But like, I'm not really sure how. It kind of reminds me of a Chuck Palahniuk book, like Fight Club or Damned or something like that. The synopsis is not at all what the book is about. At all. Yeah, sometimes Sophia wonders about strange and dark things. The look on her husband's face when he comes back from a long business trip. The questions he will not answer. The locked basement she is never allowed to enter. And whenever she asks the, qu the neighbors, they can't might quite meet her gaze. That to me seems like there's something sinister happening in the basement, but like the basement didn't play into it like at all. I don't know. This was just so weird and like allegorical. Yeah, I think I'm going to give this two stars. It was just too, too weird for me, I think. I like a little bit of weird, but like that's a little bit too weird. So on the docket for today, Maya is chewing on her bone. Um, I'm going to do the buddy read discussion on Discord for The Last Housewife. And I'm going to read The House Next Door by Darcy Coates um, on Sprints with Liv. So I've been really bad about getting um, footage of, like I didn't get any footage of the live show last night. Um, so we'll see if I remember to get any footage today. But also, if you haven't tried the frosted sugar cookie, creamer oh my gosh you're missing out it is so good I am not a big creamer person but I love creamer for like different types of seasons 
and I had pumpkin spice cream for a while and I'm kind of already like sick of it. I'm already like, okay, I'm ready for that to go away for a while. But the frosted sugar cookie, oh, it's green. It's really good. It's a good day today in the tomorrow. There's no time to borrow today. Well, something's got to give today. It's a good day. to take her back to her mom and dad um, and I thought I would give you an update so I just got off of sprints with Jacqueline and Liv and it was a lot of fun I got a lot of reading done um, I ended up getting about halfway through the house next door by Darcy Coates and I DNF'd it I just really wasn't vibing with the writing style and it felt like every single cliche thing that happens in like a ghost house like haunted house type of story happened like every character was so stereotypical everything that happened I was like of course of course it was just so cliche and it almost felt like satirical and it would have been better if it was satirical but I think it was actually trying to be serious but I just really wasn't vibing with it and I just didn't care and so I was halfway through it wasn't a very long book and I was like do I push through but I was like, no, I don't want to push through a book that's going to be a two-star book. So I just DNF'd it and I continued picking up The Family Game by Katherine Steadman, which I had started before Thrill Till the Weekend, but I wasn't able to finish it. So I had put it down um, to read my Thrill Till Halloween books. But um, yeah, so I um, am about halfway through that now, actually. And um, I'm enjoying it. You're following a woman who is British, but she moved to America to write, I believe. And she met a man and fell in love and got, got engaged. And they got engaged before she ever met his family. And he keeps telling her that his family is like complicated. They're very rich, old money. So um, it's like complicated and they're, you know, they're a little bit eccentric. And apparently they've, they have a knack for scaring people away. So, um, they're doing this Christmas related game. It's like folklore, German folklore type of game. Um, and that's as far as I've gotten. But um, what I like about the audio, I'm listening to the audio and reading it. And what I like about it is that whenever she's talking on the phone or like at one point she's listening to like a cassette tape and it sounds like a recording. So I always liked that. I thought that was a nice touch to add to the, um, to the, audio version which is what I wanted from The Last Housewife. I wish they had done something like that in The Last Housewife to kind of differentiate between when they were recording for the podcast and when she was just talking and living. So yes yeah, so I'm going to continue listening to this as I drive Miss Maya home and then just reading and resting the rest of the evening. Probably, probably won't do too much more because I'm still feeling really terrible. So yeah, I, I was hoping that by this point I would feel better because I've been on steroids for like four days now, but yeah, I'm not, not recovering as quickly as I used to. Um, so that's a bummer, but oh well. There will be other readathons where I can get all the fun footage, but it's just, it's just kind of a bummer because I had so much fun stuff planned for this weekend. And I ended up alone coughing and eating crackers and drinking Gatorade all weekend. So, well, but at least I've been reading some good books to keep it up. Well, one good book. I've had a four star book and a two star book. So even if the family game is just three stars, I'll be, I'll be happy. But it's seeming like it's starting to pick up. So a three star could easily turn into a four star now. So I'm hoping, hoping for that. Happy Monday. So, Thrill Till Halloween is over. It officially ended last night. I'm back to work today. I'm working from home today. Um, my I was off all last week because of being sick. And then I'm working from home today just to get back into the swing of things before I have to go back into the office, which is a blessing. I'm definitely feeling better. My Everything in my head is like a little bit looser. 
um, but I still, I'm just so exhausted. Um, so I just wanted to recap this weekend and finish out this video. I'm on my break right now, and then hopefully during my lunch break I'll be able to edit this vlog and get it up for you all. The Last Housewife by Ashley Winstead. Three and a half, four stars. Comfort Me With Apples, two stars. And then I finished The Family Game last night, and I think I'm gonna give that one like three and a half or four stars. I haven't fully decided yet, but um, it was good. It wasn't really what I was expecting, um, but I definitely, and I typically don't like rich people drama, but um, it was it was pretty high stakes. I liked the deceit. I liked the different game elements. I liked the kind of folklore behind it. Um, and I liked the like, like twisted in-law um, type of trope. So yeah, I enjoyed it. Um, is it anything earth shattering? No. Will it be like a favorite of the year? No. But I enjoyed it. I had a good time reading it. I do enjoy things with a game type element. So um, yeah, so I keep saying I don't like rich people drama, but maybe I just am not reading the right type of rich people drama. Um, I don't like the petty domestic rich people drama, but like the thriller type maybe is what I like. I don't know. But anyways, um, make sure that if you aren't already that you go and check out um, the other hosts of this readathon. Check out Jacqueline and check out Liv's Library and follow them if you don't already. Um, and thanks so much for participating if you did. Um, if you didn't participate and you're just watching this vlog, thanks so much for watching. Please hit that subscribe button. It really helps out my channel. And hopefully in the next readathon, I won't be on my deathbed. This weekend definitely didn't go how I had planned it to go, but what whatever goes how we expect it to go, you know? That's that's just life. So <laughs> make sure you stick around for the next readathon vlog because hopefully I won't be sounding and feeling like this. <laughs> Bye.